The Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro is a fan favorite, everyone's favorite because it offers you a lot of bang for the buck for 14,000 rupees and there is one aspect of this particular phone that has not been explored yet at least on this particular channel that is routing, flashing and stuff. Yes, I did post a video about routing this phone but then again this is a different Note 5 Pro that I got and yesterday the bootloader got unlocked. So hey, let the fun begin. So today is the first video about it. We are going to go ahead and have a look at a top secret ROM which is based on Android 8.1 Oreo, supports Project Treble and has a few features missing because this is definitely a beta or maybe even an alpha. I've been using this ROM as my daily driver, pretty pretty happy with it, did not have any issues but today I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and get a link or you know maybe go ahead and install this particular ROM. So yes, this is one of those install and preview videos for the redmi note 5 pro so without further ado and before we begin there are a few things that i need to discuss here's a card to the latest giveaway which gives you a chance to win an unlocked redmi note 5 pro and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and while you're down there go ahead and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video and if traveling is your thing and you like speed and motorbikes Here's a card to my second channel, the trailer for that channel, the name is Kratos390, just went live today, so do check it out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, my name is Kailash, let's install Android 8.1 Beta on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Alright, so before we begin, now there are a few things that you will need in order to flash this particular ROM. Now, as this is a, you know, Android version upgrade from Android Nougat to Android 8.1 Oreo, you cannot of course flash this file from updater or the locked bootloader stock recovery and stuff like that. So yes, you will need to install TWRP and to do this, you will need to have an unlocked bootloader. So if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader on a Xiaomi device, here's a card to that. And while you watch this, after this, you may want to know how to install TWRP on your phone. So specifically for the Redmi Note 5 Pro, here's a card which guides you on how to install TWRP on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now, once you have TWRP installed and everything is sorted, you need a couple of files. One is the ROM file itself. And the second file that we need is lazy flasher so that the phone will boot properly. Now remember lazy flasher is very very important in order to ensure that TWRP stays and you don't face a boot loop and other issues as well. Now before we begin make sure you have more than 50% battery. Now I have 39 that's okay. It's recommended to have 50% battery back up all your data because you may lose all the information and you will lose all the information, especially when you unlock the bootloader. So with all the disclaimers aside, copy the ROM file and the lazy flasher to your phone's internal memory and this is what you should have. We are booted up into recovery and everything is set. So the first thing that you need to do is you can go to wipe and you can swipe to factory reset. Now I won't be doing it because I'm already on the you know beta ROM, so I don't need to do a factory reset. Nonetheless, once the reset is done, all you need to do is you need to go to the home screen, you need to tap install, and this is the Note Pro Global ROM 8.4.11 is what we have. So swipe to install. Now this install will take between five to you know eight minutes maybe. So please be patient while this particular file is flashed and make sure you wipe everything except internal storage and SD card so that you get a clean, clean install and an experience without any issues here. Now the link for the ROM and lazy flasher is mentioned in the description. So you can go ahead and download those files from there. And uh, this is a top secret ROM. I mean, it says so even in the software info well by top secret i mean this is a beta rom so please expect that there will be some bugs and uh, while it is in testing but it does give you android 8.1 oreo along with project treble and the phone is fluid very very fast compared to how it is on android nougat the only thing that i found missing on this particular rom was face unlock so I did not see face unlock feature available in this particular ROM, but that's okay. What it gives you in addition to that is a lot of things. You have Google's auto fill, which is a part of Android 8.1. You have project treble. So, you know, more and more custom ROMs will be coming, you know, to this device as soon as possible. And there are a whole lot of additions to Android 8.1 Oreo. 
Now, as you can see, this is taking a while to flash. So let's wait for the flash to complete. All right, so looks like the ROM has been successfully flashed. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to go to home, install and lazy flash or no verity. We need to flash this particular zip. That is a small zip. It won't take a long time, say around a minute or so. There you go. Now, to be safe, we can wipe cache in Dalvik. There we go. So once you flash lazy flasher, you're good to go. You just need to do reboot system do not install. Now, remember, this is a Xiaomi device. This is MIUI we are talking about. And the first boot can take up to a complete of 10 minutes. That's correct up to 10 minutes or even you know 12 minutes at times for the first boot is what it may take so if it looks stuck don't panic have patience because you flashed lazy flasher so unless you've done something wrong if you've skipped any steps from this particular tutorial you may have issues otherwise you won't all right so we are on home screen and you know as you would be having a clean install you would be entering a setup screen so just set up the device and this is what it should look like now on you know the face of it there is not much of a change because it looks miui it is miui but hey let's go to settings here let's go to about phone and let's go to system update all right it says no updates available and if you can see here it says miui 9 8.4.11 top secret this, this is basically a beta rom there's no big deal about the term top secret and as you can see the android version is 8.1.0 oreo so that's with support for project treble and it's miui 9 beta as i mentioned earlier now apart from this if you go to settings and you know maybe if you go to this option here full screen display now this is something which is very very interesting so let's go in and enable this. This is basically the gesture mode. And let me just give you a glimpse of it. So you can perform these actions using these gestures. So go home screen, open recents and go back. So let's learn here. Swipe from the bottom quickly is what it says. There you go. Nice. Swipe from the bottom and pause. Okay. That's the multitasking menu and swipe from the right edge that's to go back and swipe from the left edge that's to go back as well you're ready to rock i am done so to go to the home screen it's that simple now this is something more and more smartphone manufacturers are you know including this particular feature in their phone and it's really really good to see that now something that i'd like to highlight here as this is an install and preview so we won't be going in depth here now i did not notice any bugs at all except for face unlock and uh, even if i search for face here say f a c e so face unlock is clearly not present all right now apart from that i did not see any bugs at all the battery life is great now for that matter I have been using this phone since this morning and uh, let's see what the battery stats have to say. There might be a few irregularities because I had taken the phone to TWRP and stuff like that. So battery usage and battery use, hardware. Let's see the screen on time first. So four hours and 40 minutes was my screen on time and let's see the overall usage. It was on battery for 16 hours and 28 minutes and it's still at a good 37%. So we can expect at least six to seven hours of screen on time and my usage guys is very, very heavy. So this is the install and preview. The portrait mode on the front on the back is working perfectly fine. I did not see any lags or you know, any screen tearing or any heating issues or any problems that you would usually expect in a beta rom so this definitely is your daily driver if you have managed to go ahead and unlock your bootloader you should definitely give it a try and you very well may use it as your daily driver as well now the link that i mentioned here will keep updating with new roms every one or two days because that is how they are testing it and it is expected that miui 9.5.4 stable which is based on android 8.1 audio for this device should be out soon and there are rumors that it will come with dual voice over lte support so that was everything as far as this rom is concerned for the note 5 pro guys this is an awesome rom and it was great speaking to you if you like this video please give it a like and share it with your friends and 
Let me know in the comment section what you like the most about this particular ROM. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. See you guys. Take care.